it's you guys. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, friends. As you know, I've been up on that patch of timber, me and the boy. And uh, I took the, I, I went back too soon, friends. I know I did. Oh, hey, I got to do something. I wonder if we got any footage of that. I have my GoPro up on a bird's nest. I'll find out that later. That's a 49 minute video. I'm going to turn that off. I, I don't know if I got any footage of it or not. But anyways, friends, I've, I've got the... Uh, I, I got to take a couple days off from cutting. I have to do it. I don't have to. I'm choosing to. My chest up from pulling on the saw and just... It, I went back too soon. I all, I make the mistake of doing that. I've done it for years. This is a different one. Uh, I wasn't used to this. This injury is, is a different one. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to talk about paracording a wrap on your axes. For, there's tons of videos on this, friends. A gazillion. But you know what I found out, friends? <laughs> this is weird. I get weird requests. Not weird requests. Just requests that people want. I think when we follow somebody, there could be 5,000 videos on something, but we would like our people, the people we follow, to do a video on it. Am I, am I wrong in saying that? Like you guys would... Like some of you would like to see me do this, even though there's lots of other guys doing it. Do we know why? I'm not quite sure. That might have something to do with it right freaking there. So let's get on with it. Yes, let's go. Okay, now, this is what I suggest to you. Now, friends, I'm just going to put this up here for just a second so I can stand up straight and talk to you for a minute. Straight on, one-to-one. Imano, -one. imano, a woman, a woman, a child, and a child. Okay? Now, I bought some paracord. It's a little bit... Here, I'll show you guys something. So here's the deal. I, I got her on airplane mode. There's going to be no, there's going to be no interruptions. None whatsoever. The very first wrap I ever did, friends, was right here. And I am telling you something right now. It's on the Gorilla Axe, friends. This is an ash handle, which in my opinion is not as strong as hickory. Hickory. Okay, it's not. It's just my opinion. But I'm going to tell you something, friends. Clean and strong. I've bashed it. Trust me on that. I've bashed it. Okay? Now, I've got a couple other axes that are like that. What the heck is that thing? What is this? Oh, that's that great big sum gun right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Now, i got a couple others. My fallen axe is that you guys know my fallen axe, right? My 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 three pounder. It's in the truck. You guys know it. I won't scamper off and go get it. Yeah, I guess I probably should. No, you know what it is. You know what it is. Now, okay. So your your paracord, whatever you choose to use. I bought this stuff. It's not expensive. It's just it's paracord. It's a little bigger than the other stuff. See what I mean? See the size of this stuff. It's a little bit bigger than the other stuff. Probably three times the size. Maybe maybe four. I like it. It's green. It goes good with what we're doing. But what an important thing to do is, friends, get your string, get your paracord. I got it up on a couple of nails over there. Look at me. I'm all set up almost like I'm going to go into the paracord wrapping business. Look at it. See there by the under the hat there? I got it wrapped up, friends. Okay? I just got it wrapped up. That's what I got. Okay? Now, I call it milking. Like, you got to milk your rope. So just get a piece. Use gloves. Put your glove on. Grab some, I use leather, and I put the paracord in there, and I milk it. I milk it right out to the end. Now listen, there's a couple things you got to think about when doing this, okay? Excuse me. You have to think about, see, look what will happen now. See, I just milked it. I'll bet you there, oh, sure there is. There's an inch of the sleeve right there that's not being used. Look, see? So I will snip that off. It's called milking. That's what I call it. So let's get rid of that. We'll just quickly cut that off. Meep. Meep. There we go. So now it's good and solid. Okay. We could give it a burn just because that's the kind of people we are here. We like to burn things. Let's do this and make so that, hey, you're peeking through. Why are you peeking through, you guy? I do not want you to peek through. There you go. He tried to sneak around on me, though, bugger. I want to close you up. There. There we go, friends. Come on, you. Let 
There we go. He's not coming through there again. There we go. Beautiful. C closed up. Sometimes I'll just hit it on top of something like that. You know what I mean? Straight down. Just tss, tss, and it folds it over. That's not coming out there no more. Okay? Now, what the heck was I talking? Oh, do you guys want to? Oh, I got to show you this. I got to freaking show you what I'm making. What I, what I made. I don't know if you'll ever remember. Anybody will remember. I think you will, though. There's been some people that have been on this channel for a long time. And do you guys remember the, the buck and stock axe that I'm going to give away over there? The Raven, you can see it. It's there. I'll move the axe the, the, right there. See it underneath the McCulloch sign. That's a knockoff black Raven axe. And I'm giving it away on Saturday afternoon at buck and stock 2019. I'm going to throw it over my freaking shoulder and I'm going to saunter around buck and stock until I the moment strikes me in the stars align and I'm going to go here. This is for you. Yes, I am. Now this ax came to me in the same fashion. It is a freaking beautiful tool. It's on a 36 inch handle. I customized the handle. It was weird shape. It was thick up here and thin down there. I made it all thin. I put a lot of love into this handle. The fit is stupendous. It's a beautiful, beautiful fit. There's a touch of space on the bottom right there on one side, not much, but a teeny little space, but the fit, the compromise is in the fit. It ain't going anywhere, so. Let's get onto this paracord wrap before my gums flap. Too late. Okay, now, here's the deal, friends. Listen to what I'm gonna say to you. Now, I'm gonna grab this file, because I wanna show you something. You can grab little, okay, I just cut my finger. Yeah, I did. Son of a gun. I, oh man, I got a, I, am I becoming accident prone? That hurt. I just whacked my finger and it's not pretty. It's because I got the ax here and I don't have, son of a, that's a good one too. Gosh darn it. All right. Okay, hang on a sec. Where's the tape? I got black tape here, I saw it, I know it's here. There it is. Oh my gosh, darn it, Bucking. Beating myself up lately, I don't know why. It's a sign of something. Carelessness, maybe? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know what it is. But we're not shutting this video off. We're not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not shutting this video off. Gosh darn it, that hurt. Oh, I'm dripping all over now. Okay. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll grab a little bit of uh, paper towel. It's probably dirtier. The paper towel is probably dirtier than the freaking, because of this room. Okay. Let's go like this, like that. Go like this, like that. Where's that tape again? Right there. Because I don't have any band-aids in here and I probably should, shouldn't I? First aid. There, we'll just do a, a redneck band-aid for now. There we go. Just so I'm not bleeding all over the place. Okay. Now, let's get on with this. Sorry, friends, about that. Now, there's a couple things I wanted to show you before I gash myself. Listen, it's in the shape of this, okay? Sometimes you can find, that's why I like to start from the bottom. Because you can, you get it nice and tight. And I want to show you something. I'm going to turn this a little bit. There. That's better. Okay. If you start, there's a crack in this, friends. Paracording helps more than just be beating and overstriking. It helps over, um, what do you call that, run out. Friends, it does. I, Bear Claw does it all the time with his fallen axes. He get handles and he just, you know, he's not as picky as I am probably with his handles because I'm, you know, doing it all the time. But he uses it for run out. He wraps his run out. What a wicked idea. So I've got a crack in this axe. I'm going to show it to you, actually. Sorry, friends. Look at it. See it right there? 
Right there. There's an actual crack in the wood. I don't know what the hell it's doing there, but guess what? We're going after it. Paranormal. Mm-hmm. Blood tastes good. My thumb's going purple. I think I put that on too tight. Hang on. I just got to back that off a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, friends, this is simple. You're, I'm going to lose your, I'm going to lose, you're going to lose my face for a minute here. I want you to just focus in on what I'm going to do here. Okay. I got it set up so we can kind of both do this. You know what I could do, friends? I could literally raise this up like this in the vise. Why don't we do it like this? Look at this. Billy Ray gets to stand up a little bit now. This is better. I'm liking it. Here we go. We're starting in on it. That took a long time, I know. Now, we got the crack here, so we're actually going to wrap the crack. It's going to be fixed. This is what you do. This is what I do. Now, you take a little loop. I'm not doing a long one, friends. You can see this beautifully. I know you can. I'm choosing to go this way just because what happens is I get to stack my wraps. So here they'll stay because it's almost the same size. So the wraps will stay good. Now there's another thing to be concerned with. I'm higher up here than I am down here. So when I do this, I want to be on a little bit of an angle on my first wrap. So we put the loop just past the, uh, the lugs up in here. Okay, friends, I don't need a long wrap. This is probably perfect. Okay, you see what I'm doing? You just take a loop just like that. Okay. That's it, right like that. Leave a loop there, you guys can see. Perfect, okay? Now what you do, you literally, you just go across once like this. See that? I went over top of it. Now I'm coming back around and you just start going around, okay? That's it. That's what you do. I wanna make sure I get this because I don't wanna... Because this is a weird angle. I'm not used to this. Yes, there we go. Okay, I've got it right. That's like that. This is here. I go over. There's my tail. Yes, I've got it. Now, we go like this. Okay. And now, what you start doing, friends, is you start wrapping the bugger. So, I'm doing this on a little bit of an angle. I keep it tight as I go, friends. I do. I keep it really tight as I go. Okay. You can see. So look, I've only gone around twice. There it is, friends. It's very simple. This is not hard to do, okay? Then when you get, see, and I'm gonna run it on a little bit of an angle because like I say, I'm higher here than there. This should work out pretty good now. So let's get this over here. Then what I do is I keep it tighter to loosen off. Now don't be afraid to grab this guy and give him a little snug skis, okay, friends? Give that guy a little snuggins. This is looking good. I'm very tickled with this so far. Keep it snug as you're going, right? Just keep this snug. Until you get about four or five wraps is when you can really start laying the stank to it. Keep an eye around the backside. You want to keep this tight, friends, like really tight. Now I got four wraps on it. I'm not joking you, friends. I'm going to reef on this now. But I don't want to see it tighten up. Did you see it move? See, it's moved a little bit. We got her good and tight. I'm going to grab this one more time. There we go. That's a real nice start to the wrap, friends. Nice and tight. Oh, yeah, she ain't moving. Worth nothing now. You can hold it. You got to throw it over your head, right? Keep tension. Now we can pretty much keep tension all the time now and start reefing on this bugger all the way around. This is what I do. I keep it right snug now, you see? So friends, I mean, you guys know what's going on now. You don't stop, right? But you guys are gonna do this with me. You're gonna stick with me the whole process, okay? And don't be afraid to knock this down, this stuff. Hit it down like that. Keep it nice and tight. I'm not horsing around with this stuff. You can kind of pull it down 
on your wraps. You know, guys, what I'm talking about? Guys, gals, women, and children. Oh, this is, I'm feeling good about this one, friends. So far, so good, skis. I just like it tight. That, that, that's all. I like it tight. Keep this up here like this. Okay. Throw that over top of there. Keep her nice and snug. Take a wrap. I can't pull that hard because my chest is screwballed. So I got to wrap. Oh. I'm trying to heal up, but I got, I'm too busy. Too busy to heal, friends. That's not very smart, is it? Huh? I got my I got my Easter haircut on today. I did a little Easter Easter do. Oh, that's that's freaking snug, friends. That's that's gosh darn snug. Oh yeah. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I take my little tool like this, friends. <laughs> Give her one of those. See? Because it's tight, right? All right. It's nice to keep it in a way where you don't, you, you don't have to let go of tension at any time, you see? And just let it come through your hand. Yeah, see? Here we go now. This is coming up real nice. We can start moving pretty good here now. You can hold it with your hands. How's everybody doing, friends? We're getting closer to Buckenstock. Darn tootin' we are. I'm gonna knock this down a bit here. Because I want this to be a little higher on this side, you see? Let's get this. See what I'm doing, friends? I probably go a little slower than the next guy, but I like my stuff. I like to to, to take every precaution knowing that she's snug on there, friends. Like that, you see? Where's my shades? What are we at, 10 minutes? We're at 18 already, I can't believe this. We're getting her now, friends. Every three wraps, give her a little go. See how we doing here. I'm gonna put this here and hold this right now like this and give her one of these. There we go. I like to tap it down, friends, right? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, okay. I know I'm getting quiet, but we're starting to get close to the 
I like doing that to it, friends, you know? See, this is coming up really nice. Good and solid here. You guys got to stick around for the closing. Features. Right? Uh oh, my band aid's falling off. There it goes. Okay, is this working? worked better than than last time I had I did a dry run friends and I wasn't level you see look at this friends see you want this over just over to the side a little bit where's my little goodies where's them little suckers I had friends these will work just put this in here and give this a little snug over there we go like that so they're on the side there, you see? Ooh, that's tough on the chest. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> I don't know if this will upload this video. Oh, look at this. We're getting there now. Is that freaking staying in there? Oh, it is. Yep, it is. Paranormal, boys and girls. Oh, we're bleeding again. Okay, I think this is our last wrap. It is, it's our last wrap. We don't need to go up in there. There's no point, you'll never hit that. You will never hit it. I mean, I could do one more. <sighs> yeah, I could. But I think I'm gonna take it out right there. Let's see what happens when I do one more that kind of just goes up over here like this. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it, friends. <sighs> okay, this is getting crazy. Oh, I'm liking this. Now, we need scissors. Where's them sons of guns and scissors? I got scissors here. Now, this is the finishing moments, friends. We're get, are you getting excited? Because I sure the hell am. So now, you gotta snip this bugger. I think if I snip that right about here. There, paracord's strong, friends. You know that, right? There. Okay, this now, friends, are you with me? You know what goes on, right? This goes through the hole here now, okay? So I'm just gonna, basically, I'm just gonna go right through it. I'm gonna go through this way though. I think if I went this way, you see that? You know what's gonna happen, right? You watch this, boys and girls, women and children, Friends, I'm tickled. I'm telling you, I'm freaking tickled. Watch what goes down here now. Okay, we now, we grab this sucker. Watch. Watch this. Hang on, I got no strength in my freaking chest. Look what's happening, friends. You see what's going down? Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Look at that, friends. Right there. Whoa. Check it out. We're almost there. I just got to be careful here because I don't have the strength today. So I just want to be careful that I get this just under there a little bit here. That might not be coming. There it is. It's there. It's under. It just went under right there. That's it. Okay, now. This is where, look at how freaking tight it is. <laughs> it's smoking tight. <laughs> <laughs> it's deadly. Oh, my chest. Fucking. So now, snip. Right here. Okay. Snip it. And freaking hit it with this. And just be careful. You just... Right? And, and friends, that's it. Just... Well, I mean, you know what I mean? Why not? Boom. This guy, he needs the same treatment. That's up to you what you do with that. I just like to go like this. This is what I like to do. I like to snip it right tight. Like that. And I like to go like this. There it is. Done. This thing is freaking done. And I'll tell you something right now. What do you want to know about tight? It's going to say, actually, you know what? This is one of the nicest ones I've ever done. <laughs> Let's get rid of our wrap. That's 25 minute video, 27 minutes. I wonder if it'll upload. Friends, I'm gonna try and upload this right off my YouTube phone, right off my phone live, no edits, just straight to you right now. On a Sunday after Sunday, check it. Remember, this has got lugs on it. It's a jersey pattern. They're not, they're not easy to work on like this. So here it is, friends. It's freaking tight. It's freaking, freaking tight. <laughs> it don't move. The reason I've done them, but the other way too, where I do this up here, sometimes it depends on the shape of the handle, friends. Okay, right? Yeah. So the reason I like doing them starting here is because it's very similar size. It gets nice and tight here, and then everything stacks up from there. It stacks on so you can get up good and high in here. This is Hogan's Axe from that was given to us by... Uh, Mr. Blanchard, friends. Paracord wrap. I like it myself. I, I gotta be honest, I, I like it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It's pretty good. Okay, friends, thanks for joining me on this video. We'll catch you on the stump. I'm going to take a couple days off, go up, work with the hole. I'll get Hogan out there cleaning up logs. I'll just kick back for a couple days and relax. Talk to you guys a little bit later. Over and out. Be kind. This is a live video. There's no edits. What are you